Next, we'll learn how constructors call constructors in their superclass. Here are four important things to know about constructors for this lesson. Every class must have a constructor. Every constructor must call a constructor in its superclass. Constructors are never inherited. The Java compiler will sometimes write missing constructor code for us. Let's look at this vehicle class. The vehicle class doesn't explicitly extend any other class. However, implicitly, it extends the Java object class. While I've never seen it done, technically you can write extends object. Looking at the vehicle class, we see it has three constructors. Suppose that somewhere else in the program, we declared a vehicle variable and initialized it to a new vehicle object. We aren't passing any arguments, so Java looks for a constructor with no parameters. Every constructor must call a constructor in its superclass. In this context, super calls the no parameter constructor in the object class. The object class's constructor runs and sets up its portion of the new instance. Now let's look at another example. Here, we declare a different vehicle variable and initialize it with another vehicle object. In this case, we are passing one string argument, so Java looks for the constructor with one string parameter. In this context, the this keyword is used to call another constructor in the same class. There are no arguments inside the parentheses, so Java looks for the constructor with no parameters. This top constructor has the super keyword, so indirectly, the middle constructor is calling a constructor in the object class. Once we are finished with the call to the top constructor, we finish up the code in the middle constructor. Finally, let's look at this third example. Here, we have a string argument followed by an int argument. Java finds a constructor with a string parameter followed by an int parameter. We see that there is no call in this constructor to a constructor in the superclass. In this situation, Java will insert a call to a no parameter constructor in the superclass. For this to be successful, there needs to be a no parameter constructor in the superclass, which in this situation there is. In situations where the superclass doesn't have a no parameter constructor, you can't depend on Java to insert the call for you. Let's look at another variation of this class. Here, there is no constructor at all. Java will start by inserting a generic no parameter constructor for us. Next, it will add a call to a no parameter constructor in the superclass. Let's look at these three classes. The vehicle class is implicitly a subclass of object. Airplane is a subclass of vehicle, and F16 is a subclass of airplane. There is only one constructor in vehicle. The constructor doesn't have a call to the superclass, so Java inserts one. Airplane has two constructors. The first line calls the constructor in the superclass and passes a string followed by an int. Those arguments get passed to the matching constructor in the superclass. The second constructor has a call to a superclass constructor and passes no arguments. This will generate an error because there is no matching constructor in the vehicle class. We need to modify this call to pass a string followed by an int so it will work with the available constructor in the superclass. F16 doesn't have any constructor at all. Java writes a basic no parameter constructor. The basic no parameter constructor includes a call to a no parameter constructor in the superclass. Remember, Java only creates a simple no parameter constructor for us if there aren't any other constructors in the class. If you want to keep learning, click on the thumbnail for the next video. Otherwise, check out the full Java playlist. See you soon.